an extraordinary month in an extraordinary year. Kay and Burton has just experienced its strongest week of sales on record. And despite some experts predicting the market will begin to slow down, as far as we're concerned, we can't see that happening anytime soon. What we've just witnessed and been exposed to is an incredibly strong period. We know that spring is always a very, very busy time, but I think when you're coming off record weeks after week and the volume of property that's been sold, it really is quite amazing. There was a seven day period where there were five homes in excess of $10 million sold in, in one week. Now that's, that's unheard of. But more than that, it was about the properties and the volume of the entry point, the investors right through to the middle market and through into the top end of the marketplace that everything was transacting. We've had a lot of property that's been highly competed for. Uh, there's been multiple buyers for uh, pretty well all of the offerings that we've uh, been able to produce to the marketplace and thus the results have been very strong due to that competition. While low interest rates and the Australian dollar continue to drive the property market, there's an interesting correlation between the stock market and sales of prestige homes in Melbourne. Well look, we can see a clear relationship between the stock market, as with the All Ordinaries, its track, and the track of prestige property. That's the top 10% of suburbs by median. And we do see over time that they do track each other. I think it's those underlying drivers, speculation, animal spirits that drive the stock market and similarly drive the prestige property market in Melbourne. Kay and Burton's results reflecting Melbourne's continued strong performance in property. The Melbourne market now is clearly the strongest market of all the capital cities. The positive environment of the Melbourne market really will be captured on the 28th of November when we will break the record for the most number of auctions ever conducted on a Saturday in Melbourne. Over 1,600 auctions are expected and that shows that sellers are still confident in finding a buyer in what is a very robust market. We've, we've been surprised by how strong Melbourne and Sydney is. Uh, we think it's basically coming towards an end. So we'll have, if you just use your average numbers, we have things like 10 to 15% growth in Sydney and Melbourne, but next year we're talking 2, 3% growth. So if you're looking in Perth, it's going backwards. Um, Adelaide's sort of pretty flat, Tassie's going backwards. The one market that looks like it's gonna improve next year is Queensland. I think it is a wait and see what happens next year. February, March, April is always a very good time to sell property. I don't know what's gonna happen next year, but if we start the year the way that we're finished, I can't see that there's gonna to be too much change. story and I think in my 30 years of selling some of the finest homes in, in this state I've come across a home here that's been created with so much passion so much love it, it's been a dream of a little girl who has dreamt all her life to create something herself and that sheer attention to detail and the passion I have never seen before I've heard the story from our vendors and the lengths they've gone to to create this is extraordinary and it really dates back to a little girl sketching and dreaming about one day creating her mansion, her dream home. Walking up to the home you see these amazing front doors and there's a story behind these front doors, like there's a story behind everything in this home. And you see this grand entry and you think, wow, the proportions um, are perfect. Um, they're, they're 10 out of 10. They're 100 out of 100. But it's just not the proportions. It's the abundance of natural light which fills these spaces. You know, and that's what adds to the warmth and to the happiness of the home. We've got oak flooring that has been handpicked from France. Each individual piece is then individually laid. 
and then it is old and waxed. And when you're standing on it, you think you're in Versailles or you think you're in some um, exotic hotel in Paris. I've then also tried to find the appropriate you know, mantle and couldn't find one. So they employed someone to go into France to find two amazing mantelpieces. And that is part of the magic of the creation of the home, their passion and their pursuit to find each individual piece from anywhere around the world. Every light fitting has been sourced individually, some from New York, some from London. The crystal, the bevel edges, the way it shines the light and reflects the light is so special. I mean, it's, it's the attention to detail. When you talk about the door hardware, it's been inspired by, you know, a, a Guerin, P.E. Guerin from New York. It's a 157-year-old house that does door hardware by hand not by machine, by hand. Everything about it, the kitchen, is, you know, it's bespoke. It's been handmade, it's been hand chosen. You can imagine people standing around the kitchen talking and having a drink, and it's just beautiful. It's not a kitchen, it's a piece of art. Walking into the main suite, it could be a suite from any major hotel, six-star hotel throughout the world have an entertaining terrace overlooking the pool and everything works because the outside quality reflects the inside quality. Let's go back to the beginning. It's all about a little girl's dream. It, it's alive and that's because it's been so well designed using passion, using many years of experience and no expense has been spared. No attention to detail could have gone further. It's just been perfect and perfect means perfect. November usually brings out the best properties of the year and this month is no exception. It gives me great pleasure to bring you a stunning selection of homes including this historical estate in Canterbury. Built in 1900, Cranston is one of Canterbury's finest homes. It's been designed and beautifully renovated with family in mind. From the grand scale formal rooms to the superb light filled expanses of the modern extension, all leading to a superb garden set entertainment featuring a swimming pool and court. Nestled in Melbourne's most prestigious cul de sac, just off Turak's Albany Road, is an opportunity to acquire one of the most stunning contemporary offerings of the year. Every aspect, every detail of number eight Ottawa Road is exceptional. Soaring glass walls draw the beautifully landscaped gardens inside. The master suite is five-star luxury and capping off this outstanding residence is an indoor swimming pool. Dramatic and imposing, this iconic neoclassical terrace exudes grandeur and contemporary luxury on the edge of the city. It has fabulous high ceilings, grand staircase, huge rooms, a formal lounge, formal dining room and a large family room, big master bedrooms. It can also be used for a business that is owned mixed use, which is a very unique proposition for East Melbourne. Next offering is a striking waterfront home set to take city living to a new level. 48 South Wharf Drive, it's a, it's a fabulous property right in the heart of the Docklands and the a few moments from the city. It's a beautiful home positioned over the course of three levels. 
You've got the wonderful living spaces down here, plenty of natural light, big high ceilings. There's a central courtyard area that works really well. It's a beautiful view as the sun's setting. It's a spectacular position as you look across the water and obviously with the private boat mooring that you have, it's a great lifestyle for people who may have a boat and want to enjoy all the benefits of living right on the water here, right in the heart of Melbourne. And finally, there barely exists a more beautiful setting than Bagnalls. Completely secluded, this French-style country house is set on four and a half acres, cradled within a stunning Paul Van Gay-designed garden. No expense was spared to create this stunning home, and the panoramic views are simply breathtaking. luxury boutique hotel is about to become a lifestyle. The Lyle residences to be built adjoining the world-class Lyle Hotel and Spa next year will take five-star living to a new level. In a Melbourne first, owners of the new exclusive residences will have 24-7 access to the exceptional service and premium facilities offered by the Lyle. You can pick up the phone and say, please send me up a bottle of champagne, or look, I'd like to have my room serviced today, or I'd like you to bring my car up, or, or I'd like you to book me a theatre ticket, or, or anything along those lines which you can do when you stay in, in a hotel. That is quite unique, and I think that uh, the people living here will enjoy that enormously. If doing a workout or enjoying a spa treatment without leaving home are not enough to convince you of this truly decadent concept, the location certainly will. Well, if you know South Yarra, you know that this area here is very good because we have 20 or 30 restaurants within very short walking distance. We've got our new Gumtree uh, fine food store down the end of the street. There's banks, there's shops, there's chemists, there's hairdressers, there's doctors. And right on your doorstep, an award-winning boutique hotel. Well, there is no better. I mean, uh, it is, its reputation uh, speaks for itself. It is of international acclaim, uh, and there's just nobody that doesn't know of the great quality of the Lyle Hotel. The idea of the Lyle is to give everybody uh, a small hotel, um, but to give you all the services of a grand hotel. Um, the people in the apartments will be able to enjoy all those facilities. Uh, these apartments will be built to the finest standards that are available. Um, the builder will be given the brief to just absolutely build what is the best, not necessarily to a cost. There will be nothing better around uh, as far as the style goes and the finishes go. We have very strong interest. Uh, we're in the stage now where we're about to contract and the opportunity is still there, but I can say this, that it won't be there for very long. Thanks for joining us on the Kay and Burton Report. We still have many premium properties on offer right up until Christmas and some exciting new listings set to come onto the market early next year. For more information, go to kburton.com.au.